Hi Felters and welcome. So today we're going to be looking at a fantastic starter kit from Heidi Feathers. I am excited to announce that they are the sponsors of today's video. I absolutely love Heidi Feathers. I use them for all my needles and I've always recommended their starter kits for beginners. This starter kit is extra special because it's eco-friendly and it's got a really fantastic mat. I'm going to show you through the kit and show you lots of items I've made from the kit as well. Let's get started. <laughs> So here we are, this is the eco kit with all the carded wools in it from Heidi Feathers. You get a compostable bag. At present it's $27.99 and it's Christmas 21. And this is the lovely box it comes in. I love the boxes because they're great to keep all your wool in. That's the needle felting code card, so keep that. So opening it up, we have all the wools again in a compostable bag, which is quite unusual. And you get 20 colours, which is why I really like it. All carded wool, so it's great to work with for a beginner needle felter. You get 10 natural colours. I'll just show you some of those in a sec. And you get 10 of the dyed, they're all slithers is what we call them. They're all in long strips. So you get 10 of the brighter colours. Um, and there's all the colours of the rainbow, which is really handy. And I make some fun things with them later. So that's all the wools. Then opening up this little uh, envelope, you get the needle felting holder, which is fantastic. You get the finger protector guards that are leather and two little eyes if you want to use them in any of your projects that you, you've got. Um, here's the instruction leaflet. So there are, I think, six items that they talk you through how to make them. Really good instructions for those. But also they give you instructions for the basics of needle felting and the colours of the needle felting needles there. But how to make a ball, how to make a flat piece. And then those are the instructions for the items that you can make. My favourite bit is this needle felting mat. It's a wool mat. It's a big size. It's very thick. It's at least 10 to 12 pounds to buy one of these so this is why I love the kit and then these are the needles Heidi Feathers are so well known for their excellent quality needles and you get seven needles in the kit and this is your postcard just to keep and it tells you exactly what needle is what so I will list off the needles that we get in a sec just to show you the length of the pieces of wool that you get so it's great to start with because you can try out um, a few bits and bobs and see what you like the most and then once you're happy then you could go on to order more wools for other future projects that you want to do i love the box because if you wanted to go somewhere you could take everything in the box it stores away neatly it's just a really pretty little box so i think that's really good for storing all your all your needle felting stuff in so the needles you get a 32 36 38 40 and 42 triangular you get a 40 twisted one of my favorites and a 36 star so looking at the instructions always have a quick read through we're going to make the little robin very quickly i'll lead you through some of it when you um get the uh, wooden needle holder this is how you're going to put your needles in so you pull out the little peg bit place the needle with the bent bit on the th narrower end and then it will just slot inside and you, you sort of force it in and it holds the needle really really well so it's great it makes it more comfortable you can hold the needles just by the tops but this will make it more comfortable for you so here we are we're going to start doing the robin and i'm taking a bit of a lighter color to make uh, sort of the inside a bit bigger for the robin and this is carded wool so there's several different types of wool i'm going to link a beginner playlist at the end and you can go and look at different types of wool i explain it much more thoroughly but this is carded wool and it's fantastic for a beginner because it felts really quickly always <laughs> really helpful when you're a beginner and also the joins don't show if um, you have to wrap one piece over another so the other type of wool is tops and that can definitely show the joins quite easily and it can be a bit frustrating so i put the finger guards on because i forgot to put them on definitely wear the finger guards when you begin felting so the action of the needle is in and out and i rolled up this ball of wool really really tightly the tighter you roll it the quicker it will be to felt it and i spent about three or four minutes felting it all over a roll between the hands makes it nice and round and that is the inside of my project and it's a little bit squishy so that's absolutely fine just to show you don't pull the wool too close when you separate it move your hands further away and it's easier to break 
See, that was really hard. It did break. And then if you want a thinner strip, you can just pull it down the lengthways. These are called slithers. And then you can split it again and it splits really easily. So this is the outside colour of the robin. So I wrap it around the ball. Um, the ball. I'm just going to attach it. So give it a couple of felts and then keep wrapping it round. Wrap it really tightly if you can. Um, Heidi Feathers, a lot of us know them really, really well for their needles. Um, I know them really well for the needles, the starter kit, but they also do some really good wools as well. But they have the largest selection of needle felting needles in the UK. I did not know that at all. But um, free postage over £20 and they dispatch items really, really quickly. So I've covered it all over and then I have felted it loosely all round. And then I, I've done all this with a 32 uh, triangular needle. So now I'm going to take my favourite is the 40 twisted, but you're going to have a play with all the needles. And you start felting all over one area quite close together and you work your way around the whole of the ball and that will give you a nice felted surface. So it just started round there. And here we have, I've done most of the ball. So it took me another good five, five, six, seven minutes to go all the way around a ball. And here I am trying to do the tail. So all the instructions are in the leaflet. So don't worry about trying to remember what to do. But you put a piece down, you felt it onto the mat, do two lines, and then you fold over the wool. And this gives you um, a nice little tail shape. And then I spent... A, at least another three or four minutes just felting it together. I left the end of it fluffy because if you just pull it apart a little bit this will help you with attaching it to your robin. So there we are just attaching it to the base and you'll learn this when you want to attach things. A little bit of fluffy wool at the end really really helps when you're attaching things. But that's the beauty of carded wool, you can attach things and it doesn't show. So to get the robin breast colour, I'm mixing the orange and the red as instructed in the little booklet. And that gives you a really nice robin colour. So I felt that all on around the chest area. Um, I'm using again quite a big needle, at least a 36 or a 32. And then we put a little bit of grey underneath the robin. And then we're going to do the nose and the eyes. So it's really quite quick. It doesn't take long. Now, this is the only thing that's not in the kit. This is just a piece of wire that I've got. But, you know, you could use another needle felting needle, to be honest. And you just wrap it around and then take the wire or the needle out and then start felting it into a tiny little piece and then attach that onto the bird. And then you do the feet exactly the same way. And to do the eyes, you take the tiniest amount of black wool and you roll it in your fingers and then you felt it in place. And again, it's all in the instructions. So there we are. That's the little robin nearly all done. And there's his feet underneath as well. So that's fantastic. But I went a little bit off piste and I've done all of these items myself. So just to show you, I've used all the wool from the kit and I've produced these little items, a little mushroom, a little sheep. Um, a little highland cow. I've got tutorials on some of these um, on my channel, so do have a look through. And then I did a little um, hedgehog, and <laughs> you just twizzle the ends with your fingers to make the wool sort of tufty. I did a little gnome, he's quite bright really, and gave, gave him a little beard. Then I did a rainbow caterpillar, which I really think is quite sweet, and a little smiley face, and a couple of other bits and bobs. So it's an excellent kit. You can have lots of fun making lots of different things. Thank you so much Heidi Feathers for supporting my channel. So that question has been answered. What is the best starter kit? This is what I think is one of the best starter kits on the market today. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you are a beginner and you're looking to learn all about wools and needles, here is my beginner playlist. Click on it and I will meet you over there and talk you through everything you need to know. If you're interested in finding out a little bit more about the business, here's my latest vlog. Um, my next video I think is going to be a full studio tour talking through all my walls and all my tools so subscribe and you won't miss out. Thanks for joining me and take care.